Hey there, so last time I showed you 10 different games running on the B-Link S12 Mini. Now this is an extremely low-end system rocking an Intel N95 that is an 4-core Alder Lake N-based CPU. And we're rocking a 16 execution unit Intel HD graphics. Now point of comparison, the rest of the Alder Lake N series pretty much has 24 to 32 execution units. It's really just the low-end atoms and the lower-end N chips that have 16. This is about the fastest 16 that you can get but it is only 16. So this time around what I want to do is I want to show you six multiplayer games that you can actually play on a really cut down system like this. So let's jump right on into it. Now the first game that I want to show you guys is Duck Game. This is an absolute classic that my friends and I played years ago but it is always a really fun party game to come back to and it runs absolutely beautifully on here being a 2D party game. These are exactly the types of games that run absolutely Absolutely beautifully on a low-end system like this you could pretty much play this on practically any system out there and you and your friends can boot up in here and have an absolute blast the whole goal of it is to pretty much just kill each other while you're playing as ducks and it really doesn't get any more exciting than that there is a wide variety of maps the games are super quick they can get pretty tense but it's hard to get salty about anything here because everything goes by so quickly and with a wide variety of weapons that you could choose from you can pretty much cause as much chaos as you want here so even if you're not the best player ever you can have some fun just ruining somebody else's day now the next game I want to show you is Speedrunners. This is another fantastic party game that is a 2D essentially runner. You are racing each other on here. And it's not just a straight race. You do get a grappling hook and you're able to pick up items while also having a boost bar and even being able to hit different locations that will boost your movement here. A lot of this comes down to just being able to optimize your movement. You get better as you learn these maps and the replayability is fantastic because of the fact that it's essentially like a 2D Mario Kart in the sense that once you get items, you can really start to cause some chaos for other people. So it's another situation where if you're not the best player ever, you can at least have some fun ruining somebody else's day on here. But it can get very competitive and you can have a blast playing this with your friends. And being another 2D title, it really runs perfectly on here. So I would definitely consider giving this a go. You can also pick up the title extremely cheap nowadays. It's really an absolute gem and it's one of those games that you can play with friends that don't really play video games all that much because with the amount of chaos that you can cause you can again have a lot of fun just ruining other people's day now one of my absolute favorite party games that you can play out there is of course ultimate chicken horse <laughs> really there's a running theme here of if you're just not good at games you can at least have fun ruining other people's day and that is the entire premise of this game it is essentially just you doing a obstacle course where you just need to get to a specific point and each round you just build up different traps and obstacles to make things more difficult for other people now the way that it works is if everybody makes it to the checkpoint then no one gets any points because everything was too easy for everybody as soon as just one person dies then you get points based off of just if you made it or not multiple people can make it it's just as soon as one person dies it opens up the opportunity for points to be gained so the entire premise is to just make as chaotic of an obstacle course for everybody to go through while also being able to make it so that you can get through to score some points and again it is one of those games where if you're not great at platformers if you're not great at games in general you can still have fun by making something so chaotic that you just ruin it for everyone else there's a lot of fun to be had here and it's a game that's really built for replayability since you're essentially just building out the level yourself it can be an absolute blast to play so i definitely recommend checking it out another title that you can pick up for extremely cheap you're gonna get a lot of replayability out of here and it runs beautifully on pretty much any hardware out there now another game that i have to give another shout out to is of course stardew valley it is just such a incredible and expansive game that you can get a lot of hours of content out of here and you can play with this your friends with your family it's one of those games that is so accessible to so many people that it's just one of those things where i recommend playing it and especially playing it 
it with friends you can get these ginormous farms where everybody has their own houses you can decorate them however you want there's a lot of depth to the gameplay it's not just farming it's not just taking care of animals there's a lot of exploration to be had a lot of social interaction with the villagers and stuff like that there's a huge depth of content in this game you can get a lot of mileage especially playing it with your friends it is just one of those things where if you're a seasoned stardew valley player you know what i'm talking about in terms of how good this game is there's a reason it's one of the most popular games in the world if you just want some immaculate vibes with your friends this is the game for that now another multiplayer title that i think is an absolute gem and is very enjoyable is lost castle this is essentially a 2d side scroller where you kind of just go around it's a, a kind of like a dungeon crawler where you will go through different levels and there will be different paths that you can go and you just pick up different items different loot all while clearing through levels before you get to bosses and you just are going down essentially a path towards the end level things will become more difficult and it is essentially a roguelite so once you all die you all die there is so much depth here for such a simple 2d game that runs pretty much perfectly on all hardware you can play with this with up to four friends and it is an absolute blast there's so much replayability here as well because of the surprising depth to the weapons and as well as the roguelite aspect to it in general i definitely recommend giving it a go because there is a lot of content here and it's another one of those titles where you can usually pick up for extremely cheap so if you're just looking for a game that you can play with your friends especially friends that again don't normally play video games too frequently this is one of those games that is absolutely perfect for them if you're a seasoned gamer there's plenty here for you but if you're a novice it's friendly enough that you can get started really easily and you can actually learn and build up from here so another title that i definitely recommend playing with friends that normally do not play video games and you're just looking for something to do with them now, another title that I want to show you is, of course, Don't Starve Together. This is a survival game classic at this point. It is pretty much the best rendition of a survival game that I've seen in 2D. There is a depth of content here. The aesthetic of the game is extremely charming. It's very unique. And there is a surprising depth to the gameplay here where you might be misled by the simple graphics into thinking that there is not a whole lot here, but there is a depth to the crafting. The worlds are very vast and very varied. And there is a plethora of characters available in this game now, each with their own unique abilities and traits. A lot of them with specific aspects that will greatly change how you're actually going to play the game so i would definitely recommend checking this out if you're looking to play with some friends there are public servers available but a lot of the times they're usually not in american or eu regions so keep that in mind that might not be a problem for you but in general it is one of those titles that works best with just playing with your friends that was essentially just a look at six different multiplayer games that i actually ended up playing on here it's definitely pretty difficult to find titles that actually work well on such a low end system like this, but I think it is important to look for those because there are a lot of people that are rocking systems that have equivalent hardware to this. They're just looking for games to play. There's plenty out there. There is a vast library of indie games out there that you are going to be able to play. If you're looking for titles to play with your friends, there's also plenty of indie party games that will have you having an absolute blast more than you would expect. I think a lot of the times people will associate multiplayer titles with things like CSGO, Valorant, or just team-based competitive competitive titles in general. And while those are great, there's a lot of titles that you can play on low end hardware like this. Of course, if you do have more powerful systems, you are able to play a wider variety of those types of hardware. But if you're on an extremely low end system like this, I hope you found this list of titles to be useful and maybe you found something that you're going to be able to play with your friends. But I'll catch you guys in the next one.